Well, hello there, it's Live Sleep Resin, and this will become clear very shortly. So, um, I'm going to be making my own silicon moulds with this, and just to show just how much a newbie of I am, I didn't even know how to put this in this contraption. So this is 100% silicon, it's taken me ages to find some that's 100% silicon, and that's really important. So you you kind of put it in, you loosen this bit, you open it up like that to pull this all this all the way up, right? Then you thread this into here, Whoop, she says, somehow, yeah, got, got that, got that, yeah, and then you squeeze this to get the making sure it goes through the top <laughs> like that which basically pushes the stuff out okay but the first thing you need to do is cut the end off I think so let me just figure that bit out because I think I need to get the nozzle off honestly blind leading the blind here here we go I think this comes off no ah there we go so that's the nozzle that does actually need to go on but you can see that I think it needs piercing so I'm going to try and pierce that and I'll be back okay success it took quite a bit of sawing off but I got the end off I'm not going to show you because I'm going to make a massive mess here now I avoid anything kind of piping wise at the best of times so wish me luck so <laughs> I'm going to create, hopefully, oh, I'm going to create some Christmas decorations on the window film. I know this isn't original at all, but I've I had to have a go. There are some sort of things that people do and I think, oh, yeah, that looks good. And others that I think um, I haven't got a clue how to do that or uh, that is way beyond my skill set or I just don't want to do it. <laughs> Now I'm squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and it's probably all going to come out in one go. Can you see it's moving its way down the nozzle? <laughs> I'm a bit worried about it coming out. <sighs> come on. There we go. It's getting there. See, this is, this is what people don't show you, the prelim to actually doing the piping. Now I think it's nearly there it kind of moves quite slowly so I'm just slowing that down the squeezing now because I think it is so close oh such a novice at this there we go right okay starting to come out so of course I have to fit I have to pick the most, uh, one of the more difficult shapes to start with. So this is literally the first time I've ever iced or... Yes, so... And I understand that with silicon, you need to give it a good 24 hours to dry and then and then uh, you do need to go around and do another another sort of uh, layer to make it a bit thicker now I'm not sure if you need to wait for the first lot to dry, we'll find out anyway. It's all a bit of fun. Oh, I hope that's going to work okay. <laughs> well, hello there. Okay, I finally finished. Oh my God, this, this took forever. Can you see how slowly it's coming out of the nozzle? Well, you can't really because... 
I've just given it a squeeze. That's the speed it goes at. <laughs> I'm going to get it everywhere. So, yeah, this, I know why I've avoided this for so long now. It's quite difficult. Um, I still haven't quite got the technique right, but never mind. This will do for now. So uh, let's just speed this up a bit. I mean, let's just crack on. <laughs> um, so I'm just going over these a couple of times to um, make sure I can't see daylight through them because clearly that is not going to work with resin. And I've just shown you all the ridiculous amount of shapes. Um, I can't just do one and see whether it works. I have to do every single shape I want and but this has been in my head for ages and I really want to just um, try everything that's the thing now I'm just sticking a, um, a nail in this and then putting the lid on and then I put on some cling film as well to try and preserve it so we'll just get on to the next stage of something else I'm gonna try <laughs> Look, I'll just show you quickly. It is so much easier. And most crafters, I would imagine, will have a glue gun. Oh, not easy when you're swapping glue sticks. And I'm really a novice with glue guns. It's probably about the third time I've ever used one. So <laughs> if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can do it. Alrighty, my lovelies, let's just crack on a bit because I don't know about you, but this is taking way too long. Um, so as you can see, my very, very poor attempts, I just wanted to see whether you had to use silicon or whether you could use glue. This is just what's been going around my head. And then I thought I would try it with um, pouring it with a darker colour. And I think this is Resonate's kind of metallic blue. It's so beautiful. Um, and also with a transparent colour as well to see which produced the best effects and then I did actually have a little bit of resin left over so I thought I'd just chuck the um, the bit of the leftover blue into the clear just to see what effects I could get so I thoroughly enjoyed this experiment it was great fun and you will see the results any minute are you excited? Are you ready? Yes, I hear you cry. Born ready. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're just about to go to the D-mold. Are you sitting comfortably? Uh, Lip sleep resin. Okay, this is my experiment. <laughs> it's gone everywhere, really. So let's see if we can pick one. That let's try this one. So... I wanted to do was try and demold these so that I could re-pour in these again was the idea because this took absolutely blinking ages so this is one from the, from the silicon type mold off so that's that side dying to see Ooh, that looks good doesn't it I think there must be an easier way of doing this though but yeah it's going to need a lot of finishing off how many times do I say that <laughs> right so this is just a glue gun which I found a lot easier oh so that came off really easy um, 
but does it come off the edge that is the the key part I think which is yeah that is I might need to heat that up but I think they're quite nice actually I'm not sure they're worth all the effort but let's have a look at the heart over here let's have a look. so now I know they're probably just got to come off haven't they so yes it has transferred some of the holographic but it's not quite as mind-blowing as I see in a lot of these moulds so yeah unfortunately I don't think that's um, yeah I'm going to need to do a lot of finishing off and then I'll come back but yeah it's not bad is it so I can take this bit off I'm going to need to do a lot of sanding and it's just an experiment at this stage You guys it's live sleep resin okay i have the final results i haven't bothered to finish them off because i don't think they're very good <laughs> so this has been a bit of a bit of a pass i think a bit of a wrong turn but hey you don't know if you if you don't do these things so this is one of the clear ones and you can see it does have some holographic effects but i'm not really convinced that it makes a good enough even if i did smooth down the edges and you know i'm looking at the light refracted and it's not rainbow at all so tish i have no idea how you got those amazing results but clearly i'm i'm probably not using the right window film i don't know and then this was one that i used both of the colors in and it's all right it's just really not good enough as far as i'm concerned <laughs> and then this was terrible really there's a very vague like uh rainbow sheen but yes never mind you've got to try these things and um i will have another go at some point if i can figure out um how to make it work so anyway I will be posting one more video in the very near future uh, before Christmas with a bit of a success story so please do join me I love you guys thank you so so much for your support I really can't thank you enough and I will be posting in a day or two so watch out for that all right then bye my live lovelies bye